Hi guys, welcome to this session in Libra Office Calc. In this module, I want to show you the difference between a nested if and the ifs function, IFS function. So on the screen, I've got some scores, results. This blue area I've called score, so I can refer to that in the nested if. So I'll do the nested if in this column and then the ifs, and you can see the difference in that column. So basically, I want to use the nested if to decide whether these scores get an A, B, C grade or a fail. Now, I'll start off in this cell equals if, open bracket. So I'm clicking on that cell. So if that is greater than 90, I'll say, comma, that is an A grade. So you put A in quotes like that. Then you have to do another if. This is a nested part, and I can't actually click on D3 because that's in the way. Oh, right, it's let me do it. Okay, it's greater than 75, comma. That is a B grade, comma, and then if D3 is greater than 50, comma, that is going to be a C grade, comma. Now, what I'm going to do now is it goes, oh, as long as you've got the number sequence right, 90, 75, 50, it'll keep going to the right until it finds something that's true. So after the last comma, I'm going to put the word fail in quotes, and then I've opened one, two, three if brackets. I need to close one, two, three if brackets, and then click the tick, and that's saying fail. And if I just pull that down, you can see the grades coming in there like so. So that's okay, it works okay, but what we'll find with this is they get confused with where the brackets are and how many to close and open, it gets a bit confusing. So the ifs function does it slightly different. So if I click into this one and type equals ifs with an S, so if that, in fact, I've clicked on D3, haven't I? I should have just typed the word score. Um, if D3 is greater than 90 comma a grade and then you don't have to put another if you just go d3 again is greater than 75 comma b comma and then if d3 is greater than 50 comma c so there's no brackets involved in this and that's what people find easier if it goes right to the end i want it to say d3 comma fail that's the last option in this example but i only have to close one bracket click the tick that just say fail double click that down and you can see it says fail now i've done lower cases there obviously that's a mistake so i can just put that back into uppercase to make it look a little better a, B, like so, and then just double click that down again, so it looks the same. So it's exactly the same, but there you go, one set of brackets, multiple back brackets. Now I could have done that with the word score instead of D3, so I'll just do that there, because I have actually named that score, and I did say I was going to use the name. So if I do the ifs again, so equals IFS. So basically, if score is greater than 90, comma, A grade. And then I can just type score each time is greater than 75, comma, that would be B, comma. And if score is greater than 50, comma, that's a C grade, like that. So it would work exactly the same. Comma, score, fail. Close the bracket, let's see what that looks like. So it says exactly the same. Pull it down. But I've used the word score, which is this named range, like so.
So really, moving forward, you should change any nested ifs that you've got into these ifs's, ifs, and just make it look a little bit tidier. And if you use name ranges, it's even tidier still. You're not worried about cell references. So hopefully this little video has been okay for you. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you on the next one.